We all stand on the start line wanting to win the race and I'm no different, but it's believing you have the tools and the mindset, believing you can get more out of your body and it's about executing that race on the day. The most exciting feeling in a race is knowing you've won and you've broken people and they have given everything. Professional triathletes come and go and you know to say I've actually earned my living and been a professional triathlete since 1998, not many people have had a career that long. The process has changed for me as I've got older, I've become stronger but maybe slightly less fast so I need to work on that area. Winning these days is very, very hard and you know world titles, Olympic titles are won and lost by seconds, they are won and lost by marginal gains. We're a sport that has evolved at an alarming rate. It attracts the kind of person who wants to be at the cutting edge of endurance and that's all aspects. The technology side of it, the training side of it and pushing the human body as far as it can go. To get the best out of your body, it's not just about flogging yourself day in, day out. You need to take care of the small things. We talk a lot about aerodynamics on the bike. Every time you look down, you're not very aero, but you know the fact I can look up where I'm going and I can stay in that position it is fantastic. When you're doing intervals, hard sessions, you know, you've got the data right in front of you. I think you've got to try it. You know, it's like anything, this is so new. There's nothing out there in the whole world. You can get a million bike computers, a million watches. This is the only thing that does what it does.
Golden Goose video tutorial. Thanks for taking a moment to look at the best way to use the goose. First, let's talk about the body of the contraption. It features two halves and a left or right handed locking ring. The locking ring is crucial to the function of the goose as it keeps both sides locked firmly around your egg. We'll just pause it here to emphasize that you should not try to twist the halves, but rather twist only the ring. Think of the ring as you would the cap on a prescription pill bottle. You have to press down before turning to unlock. Voila! So when you're ready, take an egg and put it in the cradle of one of the goose halves. Don't worry so much about the alignment, as the egg will find its own center of gravity as it spins. Be sure to align the two halves to the appropriately keyed features located on each side of the cradle. The ring features a series of six hooks which must slide past the anchors before turning the ring to lock into place. See? You should hear an audible click sound when the goose is locked. Now make sure your cords are even and grip the handles in a comfortable fashion. It's good practice to wiggle them a bit until you feel the cords are symmetrical and balanced. This will make getting the spin started much easier. You can be as gentle or as aggressive as you like with the spinning by pulling on the handles back and forth. One good tip to know is that you don't have to operate the goose horizontally. Sometimes spinning the goose vertically or at angles is the best method. Effectively scrambling an egg depends on the amount of force you apply or the number of spins you give it. But sometimes it takes less effort, sometimes more. But you get the idea. Let's see how this one came out. And here we have a golden egg. Okay, so let's review what we just talked about. Align the halves. The keyed insert features help you align the two halves correctly. The ring has hooks that lock into place on the opposite side of the goose, whether you are right or left handed. Locking and unlocking the ring is like using the child-proof cap on a prescription pill bottle. Don't twist either side. Push on the ring and twist only the ring. You can see that the ring has locked two sides together around your egg. Now check your cords are even and start the twist with a shallow swing. Getting the spin started can be tricky. But once you figure out the best technique, it becomes easy. Did you see how I let the first twist run its course and gave it an abrupt pull to encourage the momentum? Here's a nifty trick. Don't let it unwind once you're done spinning your first egg. If you plan to scramble more, this may save you time if you're new to using the goose. See? Instant gratification. Anyhow, you've probably figured it out by now anyway, and hopefully you've had some fun in the meantime. Thanks for being curious and creative to play with your food. Oh yeah, and don't forget that you can download our cookbook for free at kitchengoose.com. It has some really valuable tips on cooking golden eggs. Until next time, thanks for watching. video please like and subscribe for keeping up with your weekly news trending tech